up guys welcome back so today's video there is a lot to be discussed so as you already know the off season has already started and big trades have been happening and i did get a chance to talk about it in my podcast so if you haven't listened to my podcast the link will be in the description box down below along with my other social media sites as well so you can stay up to date i will be doing more podcasts about this as well and that's the reason why i haven't done so much videos is because there's been so many trades there's literally been so many trades like i can't describe it it's unbelievable i could go and bleach a report right now on my phone and actually show you guys what exactly has been going on so let me just get it up and all i can say is that this off season or this upcoming season that's about to start i think the warriors actually need to be scared they really need to be scared and actually rethink their certain amount of moves so, you know, uh, <laughs> all I can say is that <clears throat> it, it's, it's horrible. Like, first we had Jimmy Butler going to the Timberwolves, then Paul Drew's going to Russell Westbrook's team, OKC. Then we have uh, boy, Paul Millsap going to the Denver Nuggets. There's been a whole heap of trades. That's why I'm so speechless. There's been a whole heap of trades that I haven't really been able to explain. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about um, the trades for now and any upcoming trades on what teams should do to try and make these things work out. So as you already know, um, you know a lot of these players that have been traded right now, they're mainly superstars. Mainly superstars. So Paul George has gone to OKC, Jim Button has gone to the Timberwolves, Paul Moussa has gone to the Denver Nuggets, Gordon Haywood, I think he's gone to the Boston Celtics, but I think there's an issue. There's an issue with that apparently, so I'm not too sure if they've resolved it. But um, there's a whole, there's a whole heap, of there's a whole not even problems. There's a whole heap of issues in the NBA right now. The reason why this has happened is because the salary caps has gone up. But what I've, I've heard over recent news lately, the cap has actually been a little bit reduced. So it's not like last season where a lot of players were getting paid ridiculously, especially average to decent players. But like I said in my podcast, I did say that um, they're basing the salary cap around a lot of players anyway. So if they do that, then it's not going to be good for average to decent players. How are they supposed to? What if that average or decent player turns into one of the best players in the league and he can't even get a max contract? So it's hard that the salary cap is going up and up or so forth. It's, luckily, it's gone down this year, but next year it probably could go back up to where it was or to even more and I think that's what's going to happen now I don't know if you know um, if you saw LeBron James's tweet he said that Stephen Curry is on a 201 million contract but why can't he go for 400 mil and it's like well then what about the rest of the team even though the Warriors they're worth 2 billion as a team what's that going to do for income as the team because you know there's other players on that team as well so you've got to make room I think Kevin Durant, he took a pay cut this year. He took a 9.5 pay cut this year. Just so he could just so the Warriors could keep Andre Godala because they was because other teams are thinking about taking him away to join other teams. And <laughs> you know, th this is what is happening right now. You know, the Warriors are a big target. So I think a lot of teams right now they're looking to yeah, they're looking to build their own little super team or their own little thing just so they can get above and stay ahead of the Warriors. But not every team's gonna have the extra edge, only a few teams. I'd say top five teams will have a decent, well, not even a decent edge, will have a good, we might have a, might have a decent edge against the Warriors. But like I said, like, it's looking, the, the league is looking pretty stacked. You know, the Western Conference have pretty much got all the superstars, whereas LeBron, he's got a couple of superstars, but not everybody is in the East. Everybody's going to the West now just for competition and they know what, Warriors could do so until someone beats them, they split up, and that's it. So, yeah, uh, let me go on my phone quickly and I'll show you guys uh, what has been happening on a bleach report. Um, I just want to look at the main type of things because I know for a fact that this is not good. It's not good, <laughs> it is, it's, oh my God. it's literally not this good. And I hope you guys like the new way I'm recording. Pictures here of like NBA players and whatnot. I thought let me just think of a new way to record. So I'm going to be doing this way a bit more often as 
well. And, uh, you know, I just hope you guys like it. And, yeah, man, I mean, this season has been ridiculous. That's all I can say. It has been so ridiculous. So, uh, let me get on top of things. Uh, so, as you can see, you're going to see uh, a screen pop up from my screen recorder of what is going on right now with the trades. So, yeah, I mean, um, looking around the league right now, it's just crazy. It's just, it's just crazy. I mean, so this, I mean, as you can see, you've got around the association. It just says Fondo to resign Robertson, Waiters to Miami. Uh, that's Dion Waiters for anybody that doesn't know. And then, uh, what is it? Yeah, uh, Swaggy P, Nick Young, he's gone to the Golden State Warriors, which is uh, whatever, because even though I'm a Lakers fan, I, no, I've never really. I did rate Nick Young at one point, but I'm not really too concerned about him anymore. He can, he can go. He's one of those players that can go. I don't really care about him, to be honest. Nah. So, um, you know, it, it's just been crazy because looking at all this stuff that's been going on, and especially with Chauncey Billups. Now, the Cavs were supposed to get him on the president's, on the president's seat for the Cavs, but he ended up dropping out because if anything goes wrong, he's going to be blamed for it. And LeBron, the GM, he wants big trades happening. He wants big trades. And it's just looking like it's a no-go. And I don't blame the fact that LeBron wants better players on his team. But the thing is, what he's got to realise is that you have got a max contract. Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving have near to max contracts. What do you think that's doing for you? That, that's not doing anything for your team. It's doing something, it's doing something for you because you've got the most money, but it's not doing anything for your team. So until you trade someone or you lower your standards for money, then you can get players on your team. You know, you said you needed a playmaker, but well, this is the time to get it, and the Cavs, they're not gonna get anybody. The Boston Celtics, I thought they weren't gonna get anybody until they got Gordon Hayward. So they were lucky enough to get somebody. So good luck to the Celtics. I mean the Celtics, they had a they had a good season. Came off the first seed, even though they lost uh, four one in the conference finals, they still came off a good season regardless. And um, Gordon Hayden was just the extra piece. So let's just see uh, what happens with that. I mean, I know I saw fans burning jersey. I think this is the new thing. If you if you do a, if you do a team dirty that like you've been with for long, that's it. That that is it sort of thing. But I don't look at it as a bad thing for the Jazz because at the end of the day, they they're a team. I mean, they did good this season. Who's to say they can't do good again? I mean, yeah, it was down to Hayward and whatnot, but at the same time, they've got other players who did play good throughout that tier of team. I mean, they were fifth, they were top five for a reason. I mean, a lot of people saying they can go back down this and that, but I think that's what's going to happen anyway. But um, and now, now I look at this saying, yeah, there was an issue with that. So let me look into um, Gordon Hayward's problem. So the Jazz are open to Gordon Hayward to sign and train with Celtics. So I don't know. So as you can see, you know, you can just read the article right here as well right now. It's just looking crazy. It, off season is really looking crazy. Like I did not expect these big trades to happen or anything like that, but it is just, it, it's just looking like that every team in the league wants a piece of the Warriors and they want to just rip, rip them apart. And now apparently with the Warriors now, Javon McGee is looking like it's, he might he might resign, he might not. But personally, I don't know what team would pick him up. I think he should just stay with the Warriors to be honest, because a lot of teams, I don't know if he, if, if he's a if he's worth the reason if he's worth to be traded somewhere else or to go somewhere else. Like if I heard that someone's offered him a max contract of let's say 50 plus million, I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be happy. Because Javon McGee, he the Warriors improved him as a center. But he's not an all-star. He's not even. He's not a superstar. Not even an all-star center. He's a low, average center. He's not even decent. Well, now he's a little bit decent than he was a couple of years back. But this is just something that the Warriors have to pick up on. If they don't get another center, then they're they're gonna struggle, especially against the West right now. I was even saying it's literally gonna be all-star weekend in the Western Conference. It's gonna be like that. I mean, the only East stars you have is LeBron James, the Greek Freak. Demar Derozan, Kyle Lowry, uh, John Wall, Bradley Beal. Uh, you got Isaiah Thomas. Uh, who else was there? Kemba Walker, Dwight Howard. Um, 
everybody else, I'm not even too sure. Like everybody's moved to the West just so they can get a playoff spot, just so they can be on a good team, mass contract and so forth. And it seems that like with the West teams as well, this is why the West will always improve, whereas the the East will not, because there's no competition. Why do you think LeBron and, and the Cavs are able to get to the whatever team LeBron is on, you're going to the playoffs. Why do you think he's always got to the playoffs? Because it's so easy. But if he was to go to the West, then it would make it would make a lot more teams a bit more easier to do things to get to the playoffs, to get to the finals, because LeBron wouldn't be there. So a lot of people are thinking now, will LeBron leave? Will he stay? I think he's most likely going to end up leaving, especially the fact that he can't get the big trades that he wants to. But all I can say for this is that, you know, the teams need to look at chemistry for these big trades. As much as these trades are good, they're star players, all this and that. What if the chemistry is not right? Who knows? Paul George, Russell Westbrook, it might not work out. Jimmy Butler, Andrew Wiggins, Kyle Fittas, it might not work out and so forth. It's so forth. It might not work out. So uh, let's just see what happens this upcoming season and uh, leave your thoughts down in the comment section because I want to know. I don't even think I covered everything. But if you go to my podcast that I just uploaded recently, uh, the link will be in the description box down below, like I said before. Also, watch my other social media sites as well. Don't forget to like this video, share, and also subscribe. And like I said before, leave your comments because I want to know. Anyway, guys, that's the video, so thanks.